Hi guys, my name is David, and today I'm going to teach you how to come up with a list of secondary keywords for your articles. Basically, when you're writing an article, you have a main word that you're trying to target for your article. And then, in your article, you're going to talk about different subjects that are all related to your main keyword. And these secondary keywords that are all related to your main keyword will help you to get more traffic to your article in the search engine results. So for my example, I'm going to use the word coffee beans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type coffee beans into the Google search bar. And then what you're going to see is a bunch of words come up next to it. So you're going to see uh, some, for example here, coffee beans direct, wholesale, per cup, and brew types. Ah, types, I like that one. So what I could do is I could make an article. In my article about coffee beans, I could discuss types of coffee beans. Okay, So I, that would get me more traffic to my article. So that's how to do that. And then another trick with Google is you can really drill down and find tons of different kinds of secondary keywords by going through the alphabet. So I've just typed in the word coffee beans with a space. I've come up with that. By the way, if there's no space, you'll see some different words come up. But what I like to do is go type in my word, and that's more or less the title of my article. Then go through the alphabet, just type in A, and you'll see coffee beans and tea leaf, coffee beans arabica. OK, I could talk about that. And go through the whole alphabet. Bulk, OK, I like that. Brands, scrolling down, I like that. And go all the way through to Z. OK, so that's how you do that with Google. Now what I'm going to do is teach you the same process, but with Yahoo. So what I would do is type in, again, coffee beans, the main subject of my article. And here, what I'm going to get, again, is a slightly different list of secondary keywords on Yahoo. So I see gourmet. OK, that's interesting. Types of Arabica, best. All very interesting, and all words I would want to include in my article about coffee beans. So this is I'm going to show you something else. If you hit Enter, I'm going to actually search coffee beans in Yahoo. And then I'm not looking at the search results. What you'll see is right below the search bar, there's a little arrow. I'm going to click on that. And then what I'm going to see is a whole bunch of arrows come up. And I can see even more secondary keywords. Now what I'm going to do is show you a tool called the Google Wonder Wheel and Google Related Searches. These are two other keyword tools that I use provided by Google to find secondary keywords. So I've just typed coffee beans into Google. And I've hit search. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, under everything, I'm going to click on more. Sorry, under more search tools, I'm going to click on Wonder Wheel. And it's going to show me a bunch of related keywords to coffee beans, which I might not have found elsewhere. So I see raw coffee beans. That's interesting. Types of, OK, that keeps coming up. Roasted, I could talk about that in my article. And what I'm going to do now is click on Types of. And it's going to give me another wonder wheel and different types of coffee beans, which I could talk about. So I see Arabica, names, uh, types of coffee bean roasts. OK, all very interesting and all different kinds of secondary keywords I could talk about in my article. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Google's related searches. So on the left side of the screen, you see related searches. Click on that. And you're going to see another list of secondary keywords or related searches that you could talk about in your article. So I see coffee drinks, roasts, names, brands. OK, that keeps coming up. Pictures, OK, people search pictures, Arabica, Etc. Now it keeps on going. Sorry, um, Kona, Robusta. So, so that's basically it, guys. So these are some keyword tools that I've I've uh, 
showed you, and they're all free of charge. You've got the Google Wonder Wheel, you've got the Google search bar, and you've got the Google related searches, and finally the Yahoo uh, search bar. So I hope this has helped you, and I wish you all the very best in your internet marketing endeavors. My name is David. Thank you very much.